Hello and welcome in Knitting in My Wishes. I will show you today some of my plants. Uh, I have some trees, plumeria trees in the garden, which I planted 24, 25 years ago. And they are of different shapes and colors. Uh, plumeria has another name, Frangipani. Uh, the plumeria name is coming from the French botanist and Catholic monk, Charles Plumer. Um, the flowers uh, very often having the white and yellow colors as you can see right now on the picture but um, the very common colors also a pink dark pink purpley very strong purple most of the time yellow in the middle but uh, sometimes the yellow is also not appearing right now i planted a plant a tree but it's still not flowering and it's completely pink uh, endemically, the plant is coming from Mexico, Central America, Caribbean island, Brazil and Florida. Um, the plant is easy breakable and it's producing natural rubber also. Um, the Sphinx moths uh, flying around most of the time in the afternoon, evening uh, and night. Uh, around the flowers and um, it's very interesting because they're quite big and having long sort of nose. Hello and welcome in eating in Mauritius. As you see all the flowers which you saw in the beginning of the movie are all from my garden. This is the biggest size yellow and white. This is the pink, purple, yellow and this is the smaller size of yellow and white ones just beautiful welcome in my wishes, welcome in knitting in my wishes I would like to say hello and thank you very much for joining me again and thank you for new viewers who will watch me today and I hope you can stay with me and you will like this, what I'm talking about. As I promised last time, I said um, the podcast will be dedicated to per Soho and Caddy Jack's uh, podcast as I wanted to show you what I received as gift. I mean, I won a prize for the half and half uh, wrap, the $125 prize, and I could uh, use for my... Um, purchases of yander by Persoho, which I did it and I would like to say this on the very first beginning of the podcast again thank you very much Caitlin and Jackie for organizing and making this um, uh, game this make along and um, thank you very much for Persoho uh, for the generous prize I was so surprised, as I told you a few podcasts before, I was so surprised, so happy, and I was jumping from, from, from joy. And I uh, placed order for my yarns. So I will just show you quickly. I will start with this as big thank you. And later I will continue with the rest of the podcast because I have so much things to say, so I will not record another one. So I ordered, uh, I bought from Perso, huh? this beautiful yellow yellow silk so it is um 153 yards in 50 grams each skin is 50 grams it is um machine wash cold on the weekend wash and it is spectrum silk 100 percent silk it's not at all shiny or giving the sheen, but it's beautiful. It's even uh, giving you like a little hello. So I got two for six. It was on uh, sale, on promotion, even on online. So I was using it to get a bigger amount. What I bought also, I bought uh, two seven skins of uh, Cori. Kuri, Kuri, I will show you the name. It is 100% uh, Super Kit Mohair. 
it is just amazing for me i got only the gray color i wanted to make one whole pullover with perso yarn it's 137 yards and 50 gram and um wash hand wash uh cold only so this it i didn't have this color in mohair i love it and i have seven skins brought for from Persoho. thank you again thank you so much so this is all in my price and two more skins which i bought this is a mixture of um 65 percent organic cotton and 35 percent super fine alpa alpaca i got in two colors um and i got in this undyed white and undyed gray gray is there any name for this I don't see color 9140 and color uh, 1000. So this is 65% uh, cotton and 35 fine uh, alpaca, and it is 600 meters, 930 meters in one skin. So I would be doing one pullover holding it together because I don't like to work with so thin, fine yarn. Uh, so I will, I will hold together and it will be uh, my mix. And it will be one, one pullover. Let's see what. Maybe another one, Nicholas. Let's see. So thank you so much, Pearl Soho. Thank you. So this was the uh, gift. This was the uh, win. Thank you so much. And I got on my own from Pearl Soho also. It is uh, Jade Sapphire exotic fibers but it was from persoho uh, website uh, it is 100 percent cashmere i love this color i i wanted to get a light brown but um it didn't uh, they didn't i did i think they did only have one skin and i wanted to have two skin skin so i took two of them the uh, it's 100% cashmere, is uh, 400 yards in one, 800 yards in two, and it is hand wash only. The color, way, uh, the color is pink panther, colorway 142. So this is my own purchase from them. So let's hold all together my purchases from Per Soho and let's say. Thank you, Per Soho. <laughs> I love it. I really love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. I mean, this is this was this was amazing to win a, a prize, and from so far away, I, you know, I'm in Mauritius. I'm a, in small island, uh, in the Indian Ocean. I mean, we somewhere, <laughs> and people still finding us. I mean, the media is just something fantastic. Uh, we, we still can communicate over Facebook, Instagram, and many other uh, uh, Twitter and stuff. Um, and yes, and it's life is going on, even that uh, we getting again closed down from some countries uh, f from traveling uh, because some of some virus, virants of COVID. We have to survive, we have to be quiet, we have to keep calm and we have to just look positively into the future. So what I would like to tell you what I finished since last time. I showed you half finished, but now I can tell you I finished. Uh, oh, I'm, I would like to mention it's very hot here in Mauritius now. It's very, very hot. And my aircon here in my room, my work room doesn't work now. We got quotation and the guys, uh, technicians coming in two weeks. So in two weeks, it would be uh, easily for me to record and I will not sweat like I do today. Uh, that's why I'm wearing shorts. Uh, I'm sorry, but you will see little my legs. <laughs> so I will stand up. So this is the uh, ranunculus for my sister. I did with long sleeves. Of course, this uh, it is uh, striping yarn. So the uh, uh, stripes were even here on the body but then when you come to the sleeves you have the uh, stripes a bit bigger because of course uh, the circle around my arms is smaller than on the body 
But anyway, it's I think it's beautiful. I'm standing up. My Ranicolas, it's done for my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not easy, not nice. Okay, uh, next time I will stand up, not so high. <laughs> so this is Ranicolas for my sister. And I made it with um, this yarn again. I will repeat, it's a self-striping yarn. It's a, a Lank um, Yarns brand, Mille Colori Baby, and they have different colors. Um, I don't know where I have this uh, etiquette, but I have second uh, yarn, also self-striping, also four of both in another color or two. So, uh, Lank Yarns and Mille Colori Baby. Also, I was holding together with it the Hasegawa. Hasegawa. Um, this is the Seika. It's this uh, silk with mohair. And the um, color is uh, C28 Blue Light. There is something. Okay, doesn't matter. So this is my sister's pullover and it is going, uh, I'm recording on Saturday and it is going on Sunday to the parcel and it will travel because I'm ready with my, uh, I mean, I will be ready uh, with my uh, whole uh, packet of gifts for my family and I will be sending it to Poland on Monday. I have to be fast because I don't want that the, the borders will be closed before and I will not be able to send anything for my sister's birthday, Christmas, and all this stuff. And to my mom and, yeah. So, I would like to, um, this is the pullover, and I would like to press a short stop because I will change this pullover to the another pullover which I finished for my sister. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Quick change. So, uh, this is another pullover I needed for my sister. It's a little like a, a totem neck, but it's very loose, so she can um, she can put it up when she feel cold and put a shawl around or something. But also she can leave it like she can even stretch a bit more to open. So uh, this is a pullover um, uh, made uh, bottom up. Uh, designed by me just as a you see uh, Lupi Mango is uh, making some of this kind of pullovers and I did the first one uh, I, the first one ever pullover I think I needed it was from Lupi Mango I ordered the yarn and I ordered the pattern and um, the pullover is here <laughs> the pullover is here um, what I'm doing now uh, I you see, after a while, when you knit and you're much better in knitting, you see the mistakes when you did, when you have been doing the first knits. Um, so what I did, um, I'm frogging it. Um, yeah, I'm nearly, I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. So this is my yarn. This is my uh, pullover from Lupi Mango. And I will redo the pullover again. So I have a lot of, lot of yarn here <laughs> everywhere. And this is the uh, Merino uh, number no. five from Lupin Mango. And I will redo the pullover uh, again, and there will be no mistakes. Also, I will do some um, modifications to the pattern. I, the sleeves that where uh, you have to seam it by the reglan. And you know what? I now after I know how to need much 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 more than years before I uh, didn't want to uh, walk with the mistakes by seaming and stuff uh, I did this pullover a little on the on the pattern on not really pattern but on the idea of the pattern of from Ruby Mango so I uh, I uh, made it much smaller I need the uh, I made a rip here on the beginning on the bottom uh, two by two uh, with five millimeters needles and then I changed to uh, 12 millimeters needles and then I just went on because I was having this yarns from my another pullover and this blue dark blue I was having just two balls I, I and this was um 
50 grams, 45 meters. So two balls, 90 meters is nothing. And But it was so fine and chunky, I decided to use just for my sister for this pullover, for the accent of the colors, to change the colors. So this is completely pullover made by me. And um, also this part is uh, just designed by me. I just need, wanted to have different uh, uh, pullover. I mean, this is very airy, very airy because of the big uh, needles, very airy pullover and also very big, as you can see. Short, sorry, again. So very big, but I think it's very, very nice. I wash it. I didn't really block with stretching. And so I cast it on 130 stitches. I went with the uh, rip here two by two um, with five millimeters. Then I changed to 12 millimeters and I went up. I just changed the uh, every six rows. I changed the color pink and dark blue and the light blue from Lupi Mango, what I was still having the uh, a so soft mohair, is only two rows. And the um, calf, I cast it on 28 stitches with five millimeters needles and went up to finish. I finished this yarn. I have so much left on it of the blue and then two rows of the pink. And then I went up with uh, the sleeve. I um, connected together and I worked a uh, reglan from uh, by uh, uh, knitting two together or slip slip knit uh, to uh, system and I didn't uh, need to seam them later so they are seamlessly added. Here I changed to the five millimeter needle from here and I just was knitting, 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 reducing, um, uh, I think 20 stitches around and then just did like this. It's my own, it's my own um, innovation of a huge pullover. I think my sister will like it and uh, she can put, it's very see-through though. But it is, I think it's very warm and very, very fine. So what I was using, I was using Kiriko uh, Design Fashion Fine for super chunky uh, uh, yarn. This is the uh, two balls of the dark blue color. So it's 90 meters. I used all 90 meters. I mean, it's so much left. So I, just for uh, weaving in the ends. So I used uh, two... Uh, the balls. Then I used um, the light pink here. The light pink. I still have so much left from some different project, but I'm still keeping. I will put somewhere. I will put somewhere on a hat or I will put somewhere. I love it. It's so soft. So it's uh, the Mohesa Soft from Lupi Mango. Okay. And it is normally a 65 yards by six uh, yards, 60 meters by 50 grams. It's just amazing. I mean, this is this mohair is just amazing. It's made in Italy. 47% super kit mohair and 53% extra fine merino. I need to wear glass. So it's merino and mohair. Okay. And then I used also Rico Design uh, Fashion Luxur Lux uh, Light Luxury, 50 grams, 130 meters. So this, the, the pink is thinner yarn than the mohair and the blue yarns. And it's much more airy. So um, I could use maybe 10 millimeters needles, but I, I see it's fine, it's okay. It's just for a few times few few ways i i think she'll be happy so this is uh this is the yes this is the pink which i was using here so the pink is much thinner also you know when you need also it's go going much thinner so um this is also the leftovers i will use somewhere again as i like pinks so this is the pullover for my sister very big very i i don't know i um 
for the uh, Lupi Mango, I uh, was even casting much more stitches and it was not so big, not so airy, biggest uh, needles, but I think the yarn is uh, holding it differently than this, uh, than this one, the fine fur, the 42% alpaca and 36% polyamide, it's in there. Um, so what I did also, which is going in a parcel on Monday, I did a hat for my mom. Uh, it is made out of Adilis Mohair. It's coming from South Africa. It is a uh, brushed kit mohair, 100% 100, 100 uh, mohair. 100% there is nothing mixed in. Uh, and the color is camel. So um, I will show you how it looks. I The brim, I did it a bit bigger. I don't know if I ever open my hands. Okay, let me put more wool and yarn on me. Okay, so the hat looks like this. I think it's fine. She can put the brim higher. So this is one by one, one by one um, rip. One by one rib and just easily I um, decrease here on the top only one round with uh, knit two together, every knit two together and then I just uh, weave in the end and I just pull it together so the hat is ready. So this is a hat for my mum. It's going on Monday to my mom, pullover going to my sister on, on Monday. And now I would like to show you what I still cast it on. Uh, and this is with my sister choose this color because I don't have any more this color. So she chose this color. It's um, closest color to this. So she can wear it together. It's the MYPZ Mohair. It is um, 210 meters in 25 grams. It's 80% uh, kit mohair and 20 present polyamide and I hold okay I hold three of them together and I want to do a hat like this for my sister quickly also over the weekend um but with the twisted rib I just started I just so this is my cast on this is just my cast on I'm working on my chagu six millimeters needles and on the shortest uh, cable I uh, we see how this looks um, I think it would be uh, different because the even when I hold three together it's not so thick than this uh, mohair from this mohair from Adelis mohair I don't know I'm I might change to some and I know another pink one Oh, knit quickly and add one more for my sister. Just that she that they have. Um, yes, so this is the new cast on, new work in progress. Sorry, I was unraveling and unra knitting again and it's a mess. <sighs> Maybe now I will remove all these things. I will put something different and I would like to talk about my purchases and my mistakes, what I did and you will laugh about me. A lot. Just a second. Hi, I changed into into tunica because it's very very hot here. And by the way, this is a tunica I made it once on my own. I have a lot of lot of tunicas uh, and lot of dresses prepared for cut for sewing. Um, yeah, I think because now it's the heat here, I will uh, finally be sewing them together because all cut all prepared, all waiting for me to have the... I think I will wait until the aircon will be here because you can't sit in this room, really. It's a very hot room. Um, I, will, I, oh, I would like to say um, I'm sorry for last uh, podcast. Last In a last podcast, I showed you that from Hasegawa, I bought a silk, kid silk mohair in a few different colors and that I bought also a this yarns from Hasegawa and um, I told you this is 100% silk it's uh, not true to the not completely true I would like to 
make this clear that this one is 100% silk. Doesn't look like it's very uh, matte, it's tweeted, uh, but it's 100% silk. So I checked, I, I, I translated. <laughs> um, so this Hasegawa, this uh, Ginga number three, this is the color number 26 and something in Japanese. And I wrote here silk. The name is Noil, Noil, silk Noil, but it's 100% silk. So I would like to tell you this one, this tweet, silk tweet, space dyed. This one is S by one. Again, color. This also is completely silk. Doesn't look like, look like um, cotton mixed with silk, but it's 100% silk. And now this, I told you last time that it's, this is silk and this is not completely silk. This is 81% silk, 6% Angora and 13% nylon. So this tweet is, is with Angora and with nylon and the same is here. 81 silk, 6 Angora, 13 nylon. And this call uh, Rosé tweet, Rysel tweet, and this is the same, the same tweet. So I'm really sorry for the last time. I was sure that it's uh, silk, but the two are not really hundred percent silk. Now I would like to tell you what I, <laughs> what I um, cast on, and in in the meantime and what I I can't believe I did it wrong but it's still fine I will keep it like it is it's uh, okay uh, I told you la in last podcast that I bought this Regia perfect design line uh, signed by uh, Carlos and Anna and Carlos um, and designed by them the stripes are coming like this here you can see them so the stripes coming like this when you see this picture do you see any yellow no when you take the yarn i have the second because i bought two per one per per color when you see this one you see yellow but on the picture you don't see yellow but me i'm not wasting anything this is this is terrible, I don't know, Polish or German thing. And I'm not reading instructions. <laughs> Especially, you will laugh about me. Especially when the instructions are this size. Okay, maybe you will see something, but so the instruction uh, instructions, even I put my reading glasses. I'm sorry, I don't see anything. I put my reading glasses and I use my loop that I, then I can see something. <laughs> but after I made a mistake. So my mistake is don't laugh, please. No, or laugh. Have a fun. <laughs> Have a fun. Yellow. <laughs> so you're supposed to, the yellow is just a start of your yarn. And it's showing you when they where they knew the same the new sock is starting. So you're supposed to pull the yellow, 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 pull the yellow here, pull the yellow, yellow, and pull the yellow, yellow. There are two two ends of yellow to the end. Cut it and start your cuff of your sock here from the white thing. So this this should be a cuff. Or the, at least, yeah. No, but I have yellow, of course, and I was completely lost, and now I, I have short one instead, at least whole yellow. You know what? I never need socks, so I don't know what <laughs> this socks doing. But uh, it will be like it will be. It will be with yellow. This socks, this pair of socks will be with yellow. The another pair of socks will be with definitely without yellow. So this pair of sock 
guess who will have it? Me. I don't give to anybody with a mistake or something. I will keep it like it is and I will still knit the sock to the end. This is a fantastic striping sock. You don't think so? I think so. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Still a lot to go. Um, I think soon I will have the, um, the white coming for the gossip and a heel. And then I will uh, turn the sock. It is just amazing. I work on my chagos on the happily received from Trampians. I don't buy uh, over Amazon uh, these things because I had, um, I'm in some Facebook groups and one lady was saying that on my Amazon she got uh, copies of this. I don't know if it's true or not true, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go and have a problem. So I buy from shops uh, and try try pians in England. It's my, one of my favorite shops. So all these things are coming from her, from Emily. So this one I got before. This is the bigger sizes. And now I have the smaller sizes. The smaller sizes are perfect for my socks. So I'm starting to knit socks which I d never did it because it's too hot here. So, but let's, you know, now I have yarn and then it's nice. I like to make, I like to make garments. I like to make pullovers. I like to make shawls. I like to make hats that you wear more often. I mean, let's say um, uh, ranunculus or something like this, um, the laugh knot or any another pullover t-shirt like this, I can wear it here also in the winter time. Socks, I don't know, because we're always wearing uh, flip-flops. So, um, savats, we say in Mauritius, savats. Um, yeah, so this sock is amazing, in my opinion. Could start here, but it's okay, it's yellow. There is uh, something with yellow. So, um, I received my my small needles from me, Chagos. And then I received my, from Tripias, also the big set of big set of chagos six and so millimeters as you see i already use my uh, five and a half and so on and i always add a uh, buy more uh, cables because i need cables i need uh, i have many projects going on sometimes i keep them for a while waiting for me there is a big basket with projects and there will be ones things definitely so what I why I ordered this uh, Chagus the mini set? I have all sizes of this knit pro and um, Adi German Adi in this um, sizes for socks. First of all, the circle is uh, the size of the wire. It's for me. It's too big. But secondly, this is made out of wood. I'm so scared. Um, you know, I, 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 uh, especially on the beginning of works, I'm a bit uh, fiddly and a bit more hard on my needles and on my fingers. So later, when the work is done, is done, and and when it's just in this in the round uh, stocking net or. Um, it's working, but I'm so scared that I will break these needles. I don't know. It's just not working with me. So I like the uh, metal needles and Chagos. I must say that's my best one. I got this um, uh, set of... Uh, hmm, I forget. I will. I showed you two postcards ago what I received, the uh, needles which you have, higher, 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 where you have only four needles in set, but I don't know, I, I don't know how to work with this, work with double pointed needles. I know my grandma, everybody was working in this. I also see a lot of podcasters still work with double pointed needles. Uh, I found this very fiddly. I found this very stressful because I will break them and even the uh, circle of the it's 40 centimeters uh, the 
circle of the together with the wire for me doesn't work chagu perfect i mean this sock it's just going very no it's not going fast it's going nicely it, i work on this nicely but still these needles are very tiny for me it's okay i will go through for the next sock i will be definitely more careful for the another colors i will be more careful where to pull which color away and cut and how to start and i will read the description definitely oh and i will need to use my loop loop so i i hope you got a good laugh <laughs> about me i think this is uh ah, by yes what i was telling you also last time by uh uh fabulous fibers Yes, by Fabulous Fibers. I ordered two of these yarns from Art uh, Yarns. So this is the uh, Baltic Sea uh, yeah, colorway. It's coming still this color. It will come and come. I don't know when we arrived here because of the post. And now, I'm, I don't know. Anyway, don't want. And now, because I was ordering the needles, so I saw that uh, Millie in Tribians was also having this yarn. So I took the number three. Now I will have three yarns and I will make, I will make with this, not a pullover, I will make a huge shawl. One side, it will be this, another side, and around this shawl, it will be this pinkish color around this shawl, some, I don't know, um, some lace. I will design something for myself. I love this. Baltic Sea color. I'm coming from the Baltic Sea, few kilometers away from the Baltic Sea I was living. We have been having all these holidays there, always staying on the seaside. Sometimes I was even <laughs> going away from school when I didn't and um, want to have some lessons when I was already in uh, my high school. I skipped the school and I went to the beach side. Yeah. Baltic Sea. I love it. So this color is coming, I hope soon, and then I will need a big pullover because there is um, 400 meters, 437 yards in one. So I have 1,200 uh, yard uh, meters and I will have the another skin of this pink and I will make the some lazy thing around. So this is my purchases and my um, my happiness in this COVID times. I don't know. I hear guys, you have beautiful time in America, in Canada, in in okay in Australia. I hear you have still problems in Europe. You have the freedom of traveling. You all talking about moving there, going there, go going from place to place, visiting each other, going to a restaurant. We don't do this here in this little island. We have been COVID free for two years. And then I don't know what happened. Uh, we have all variants now. And my kids, my husband and me, we are really sitting at home. We don't, we didn't meet anybody for last three weeks. Um, yeah, at least we can go on a beach. At least we have nice weather. At least we have a garden and, and, and a pool so we can use it. Still, school is still going on for next two weeks. Um, so there's a lot of work for the school. The kids have a lot of hard work and I'm happy to have my passion about knitting. I would like to show you what is now in my progress, uh, in my uh, plan. Next thing to do, I have a lot of a uh, lot of things on my needles which maybe you didn't saw before i will show you i think step by step now i will need to need two more nucleus for my secretary and for my friend for christmas um i have still time it's one no not even one more month but it's some time and then i have my a lot of um work in progress which i still have in my basket here in front of me and i will work on this one of uh, my projects, which I kept for a year in a basket, it is very easy actually, 
but it is um, uh, put it on the side because it was, I don't know, more interest in other things in the meantime. And uh, it, it was needed specially for my friend uh, Mary for her birthday. Uh, by the way, she likes her birthday gift, the red uh, ranunculus, which I gave her last week. Last week. Uh, and uh, uh, she likes very much. Thank you for your support and for your comments also. Uh, and uh, I last year I cast, I made it, cast it on a shawl for her. But I didn't make it in time. Then I didn't make it for Christmas. And you know, with this COVID and all this in, out, in, out. So I didn't finish this pullover. It, and I decided to give her a pullover, shawl the shawl i will give her the shawl for uh this christmas so it is a shawl like this it's very basic constructions as you see you uh, have this increases here the um and every a uh, few rows you have uh also the um now my my brain doesn't work anymore. Um, loops, big holes. <laughs> okay, so you have this uh, very basic uh, construction, and it is the design is from a lion brand, and it's free knitting pattern, uh, and. Um, it costs amazing rosy glen shawl. So this is the pattern. Here it's very short, in my opinion, the shawl on the on the pull of, on the, the model. On the back, it looks a bit bigger, but my will be definitely much much bigger. It will hack her completely. Uh, and um, oh, it's free pattern. I just showed you the pattern, but it's okay. It's free pattern. Uh, I did this shawl once for my mom. I will include picture here, and it was in a orangey self striping tweeted yarn. And I will put the picture here so you can see how it was looking. But for my friend Mary, I'm using. I will show you again. Where is the front here? I'm using Adelis Mohair yarns in different colors. Plus, I hold, okay, I will show you. Plus, I hold this uh, satin, a few colors of the satin rose, and I need only with the satin done. This is from Annie Blood. I got it this from the sale from my friend, which was closing the business here a year ago, one and a half year ago. So I got still few from this from her but i see annie blood uh, has a website now and they have silk mohair alpaca and they have uh, uh, these things uh, also online already you can get it from her from them i don't know from her annie blood i will put also the name here that you can uh, go and visit the website everything is in french i wanted to say but you can manage it Yan is Yan. So I will, so this project is in my small bag, my my own small and I'm made with a smile bag, uh, which is made from the recycling uh, say. And I have few different colors of the, of the satin, which I'm using in the also green. I have a few more, but uh, somewhere there is uh, this, this uh, pullover is uh, held in a blue, greenish colors. Uh, um, uh, um, theme, and I'm using. I don't have any more here of this color, but I will go to my stash. So this is all from uh, Adelis Mohair from South Africa. Uh, the yarn which. I don't know why I have such a mess here. And okay, that's the uh, Adelis Mohair. I will just show you the box here I have. 
So I was talking about this um, uh, in my first podcast, I think. I Adelis Moher is selling these boxes like this. Moher Magic Gift Pack. I I have a lot of movements in these things. This is the yarn. And I would definitely add to this pullover because it's the same color thing. So, uh, uh, pullover to the shawl. So my friend Mary will receive this beautiful shawl. I mean, it is amazing. Um, you can see this yarn is having some knots, some uh, synthetic colors around, I mean, the metallic colors and uh, some, some, uh, some, some somewhat uh, knots and dots and uh, here for example you can see also something like this so it's very interesting yarn it's uh, made by hand uh, the mohair and it's uh, made by rural ladies in South Africa and this is from Annie Blatt when I finish this yarn uh, on the satin is 100 meters and um, Mm, I will uh, definitely order more colors from them when I will finish, but I still have a lot from Brigitte Sherwa when she closed the shop and more colors in my stash. So this is all what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you, um, I know you have been having um, Thanksgiving in Australia and in the US, we don't do this in Europe and we don't do this in Mauritius, but happy uh, Thanksgiving to everyone who was celebrating. Um, I hope you also got a nice Black Friday shopping. Uh, I did by Fabulous Fibers, uh, Jan's Fabulous Jan's Fabulous Fibers. I ordered some alpaca yarns uh, and I will show you when it will arrive. I didn't buy much because I think I myself might have a yarn for next 10 years of knitting. So I think I should slow down maybe with the buying, but let's see what the time and, 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 and life will bring because we have to make ourselves happy also with something. And this is one part of my life, my hobby, which makes me happy, buying yarn and knitting for me and for my friends, for my family. Also, I would like to tell you that um, yesterday, my kids and me, we already put our Christmas tree up. It is, I know, it is still one nearly, nearly one month to go to Christmas. And normally we have been always decorating on the 1st of December to give more the uh, Christmas feeling to the house. But as we sitting home, as we are here and we are um, limited with our activities, uh, how much we can play board games and learn and watch movies, Netflix, it's not any more interesting because there is everything watched. <laughs> so we put up the Christmas tree. The kids were so happy to see the small decoration. We have we don't have a standard Christmas tree where you put the same color of the lights and the same color of the uh, balls on the tree. We collecting every year new decoration and new uh, toys and new wooden uh, art and we hanging this on the Christmas tree. So it's a lot of memories, a lot of uh, fun. Kids were so happy to start the Christmas tree. Me, I'm happy too, and um, I think I did it right to put it early because we really need to feel a little bit something different than only the fear and only the stress about the COVID. Uh, I would like to say, be happy, stay happy wherever you are. If you are in, I don't know if there are lockdowns or not, but if you are in lockdown or you're staying home or you uh, working from home or you not going out for dinners uh, or you're not dressing up but still please stay happy make yourself happy with something you like have a hobby smile watch movies uh, learn something new i think this is very important in these times 
and hopefully soon we can travel and see our families. See you again and happy first Advent Sunday. Bye! Au revoir, do zobaczenia!